delighted to welcome Clara Holmes, who is a model, fashion and lifestyle content creator, who you may have seen on Instagram. If you haven't, you need to follow her at Rolling Funky. Um, so welcome, Clara. Hi, thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for being with us. Um, really, this is just an opportunity to have a quick chat, get to know you better, um, and just find out a little bit more about your support for Jeans for Jeans um, campaign and why you've been such a great supporter of ours. Um, yeah. So we've got some questions. So we're going to start mm. off with some getting to know you questions. Okay. And then we'll move into more kind of Jeans for Jeans-esque questions after that. Um, Fantastic. Anything else you want to say with your introduction or are you good? I'm good. You're good. Okay. So our first question for you is, how would your friends and family describe you? Oh my goodness. They would describe me as like genuine, caring, loyal, um, a bit wild, <laughs> um, free spirited and a positive thinker, I would think. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. lovely. Sounds a bit like the little creature we've been describing recently. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, my little Onyx recently become a puppy mum. He's nine weeks old. He's a bundle of fluff and joy. Oh. He's hard work. I'm slightly sleep deprived. So apologies if I stumble on my words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's brilliant. So apart from Onyx, who would you say that you most admire in life? Um, as in a human? Could be anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, you know, I really admire like Oprah Winfrey, for example. Mm -hmm. I think what she has done is just absolutely amazing. The, the foundations she set up, um, she's come from like real, real poverty and to yeah. become like one of the most successful women in America and in, in the world is just absolutely fabulous. I think what she's achieved is astounding and it's something, it's definitely something that, kind of resonates with me as a black woman as well mm. and it just goes to show that like if you work hard enough yeah um you know you eventually it, it can pay off um she didn't come from a privileged background you know she came from very 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 poor background so it's like you know she can do it then you know we can all do it but at the same time she also looks for others and tries to help others as well with campaigns and stuff like that yeah. and it's one of the reasons why I've hooked up with Jeans for Jeans as well because I you know it's a cause that's close to my heart brilliant yeah I mean it's one one hell of a journey that she's been on so okay next question what is your favorite book or movie of all time and why did it speak to you so much okay um my favorite film of all time will probably have to be The Goonies. Now, now I wasn't expecting like, you to say that. <laughs> sorry, I didn't expect you to say that. <laughs> oh, I love The Goon. Like it was one of those shows we used to watch it like every weekend. It doesn't matter how many times I've seen it. Hey, go. <laughs> And oh, it's a classic movie. Yeah, it's a classic movie, but it's also so many underlying um, like messages um, like in it as well. And like when I look, when I watched it as an adult, I had watched it with total different eyes as then yeah. as a child as well. And you just never, you just don't realize the teachings that it was kind of giving you as well. Um, but also I just like the freeness of it, like just being free, being adventurous, going with the flow, like you just, you know, accepting people for who they are. And I think that's a, like a really good message within the film as well. So it's one of my favourite films. And it's um, aged it's so well as well. Like you can watch it as an adult, you know, you watch some movies and you're like that. Yeah, it doesn't resonate anymore, but it really has stood the test of time, isn't it? It really has. And it's an absolute classic. There's so many people that are like younger than me and they they know the Goonies. They've watched the Goonies. Yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's a classic. It's a cult classic. It's absolutely a cult classic. And um, yeah, it's just, it just, I think if you haven't watched it, I think you definitely should watch it. I would definitely recommend it. So yeah. That is my favourite film of all time. 
And I'm going to watch it again this weekend because now I'm like, I love the Goonies. I love the Goonies. Me too, actually. I might try and find that on <laughs> some form of streaming platform. But yeah. Mm. Brilliant. <laughs> so if there was one cause that you'd fight for or one thing you could change in the world, what would it be? Oh, now I, I really have to think about this one because it's, it's a toss up between two things. Well, three things. Um, but you said one. I've got to pick one. Not pick one. That's the I've got to pick one. <laughs> hmm. I think. I think it would be poverty. Mm. Because the other two options, it kind of still stems from poverty. And if we was to end poverty around the world, then you wouldn't have so many people fighting and so many people that are not got access to the likes of food, water, medication and equal opportunities for all. So I would say maybe poverty because, with you know, out of... Um, if you would have poverty, I think you would have more knowledge and out of that, you would have more opportunities for everybody. So I mean, have a, I mean, we live in peace. I think that's probably one of the biggest causes of um, po- uh, of war or anything like that is probably like poverty and greed. So, yeah, I would kind of end that, to be honest. Yeah. And such an important, poignant thing at the moment with all the cost of living crisis and everything that's going on in the world at the moment. I think it's going to be felt by a lot more people than previously were so yeah um, yeah so <laughs> moving on to more jeans for jeans related questions so this yeah. year with our campaign um our big strap line was the kind of how do you wear yours and it was wearing different things with your jeans so if you could choose your perfect partner to wear with your jeans or your perfect accessory what would you wear um so I actually got on jeans today for example today I have on a, a sweat like an oversized sweatshirt I have boot cut jeans and I had and I have had on um like kind of stiletto heeled kind of ankle boots you know just like and I like that I love a boot I love a boot or a, or a heel in general with the jeans but I also like jeans with a nice top you cannot beat jeans and a nice top that's the that, classic isn't it what you're wearing this weekend I don't know jeans and a nice top <laughs> it is it is like jeans and a nice top it's a phrase on its own it's it's a staple it's a statement you can get a pair of jeans and like you could you know you put on something nice and and you, and it's that medium between smart casual as well yeah and you know you put some heels on you've got your makeup on you've got on your jewelry nice handbag and you just like yes own it I, I can't yeah. get into discussing heels with you because I have such heel envy. Looking at your Insta account, I'm like, oh, oh, shoes. <laughs> you should have been here when I was tidying them out last week. Oh, jeez. I'm not going to ask you how many pairs last... you have. <laughs> uh, probably over 100. Definitely over 100. Yeah, it's a, it's, it is a lot. It was a lot. I've just kind of like reorganised them. And yeah, so it was it took two days. Heel size, how do you organise them? Um, I well, they're all four inches and above, to be honest. So that was it. It was more I organized them in styles. So it was like barely there, strappy, barely there, boots, uh, like ankle boot, sock boot, over up to the knee, over the knee. Amazing. Peak toe, no peak toe. Such <laughs> heel envy, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, it took, it took me two days to sort and um, to organize my wardrobe incredible yeah oh so how and when and why did you get involved with the jeans for jeans campaign do you know what my love for jeans for jeans um as a charity actually started when I was a child like in school and we used to go and pay our pounds and we used to wear jeans to school and also the fact that I have a genetic condition um it was it kind of resonated with me and it was something that I've grown up with so I've always um, like both me and my mum actually like we both have um, like we've always supported jeans for jeans um, you know whether in, in school in our workplaces you know when it was coming up to the time I always you know before I was self-employed I used to say to people oh it's coming up to jeans for jeans there we've got to, you know we've got to put our money in and donate for jeans for jeans you know we're with jeans and so like it was always so it's always been um 
from oh, I don't even know I think it's from my like early teens to be honest it's always been and it's that charity that I'm always first to kind of um support and I'm growing up so to be able to kind of like work with you in this way and actually give that support so publicly um it was amazing for me Brilliant. personally and I feel honored to be honest I oh, feel honored we're so, honored yeah no I'm honored <laughs> no <laughs> you know because you know, as I say it's, it's it's a charity I've always supported since I was younger and it's something that I've resonated with I know there are so many charities out there and that people can donate to so many like there's so many options and um and like causes like you know genetic causes like they could be so easily overlooked and yeah. therefore underfunded and not getting the support they they rightfully need as well mm. um there's obvious charities and people tend to donate to those and they're not necessarily kind of and I just wanted to just kind of you know scream and shout about it and kind of for my followers that especially now that I'm in a position where I can like share with others like my story and kind of get on board so yeah I am I am truly honored to like be able to say you know I you know I support you guys I work with you guys on with campaigns and stuff because it is for me um it's a it's it comes from within here yeah Oh, that's really nice to hear. And it's lovely hearing, I think, something that's really stood out with the campaign is there is such a nostalgia with it, with people that have done it as kids. And then yeah. when they go to work or, you know, they they take it with them. But I'm yeah. definitely up for like an 80s throwback. I think we should definitely do a I wore jeans in the 80s. Let's go and yeah. see what that looks like. Now. Yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah, I love so, that idea. Next year's campaign. Oh, there we for go. Sure. The 80s throwback. 80s themes, yeah. So now, well, it kind of leads on to this next question now. I might have given it away. So what would you like to see us do in the next five years as a campaign? I would like, I definitely would like to do the 80s feed because that's not the <laughs> <Yeah>. problem. <reason. laughs> but I'd just like have um, more campaigns, be more visible, um, just kind of like just for people to kind of um, get more on board um, with it and just kind of like have more social media campaigns um, and I, I think that's important like we're living in a world where social media is you know it kind of it hones in what people's thinking and what and people are getting educated you know by social media whether it's on Instagram or TikTok and I feel like it's important to kind of jump on those as well to stay relevant and make sure that you have like a, a social media presence and with the charities and just getting people on board and having and just kind of running and, you know keep the momentum going that you've built all these years and just keep it going but also you know incorporating that with social media and you know other people like me but also like with just that the work that you're doing as well and just kind of keep him because I think like that is um it's definitely the way forward it's, it's, yeah. a, it's a way a lot of charities are doing stuff now people are getting behind campaigns and stuff um because of social media and I feel like yeah I think definitely could help propel and you know for it doing more even more amazing and wonderful mm. things as well yeah and that would be really interesting you know we've, we've had a bash of it this year but you know, our, our key audience have always been like schools and businesses, but taking it to socials, I think, would be really exciting. So. Yeah, I mean, even when like just telling people my story and why I support Jeans for Jeans, people are like, oh my gosh, I remember this from school. Like, yeah. I totally forgot about this char this charity. You know, so just like me talking about it, it was like kind of highlight that kind, you know, highlight the campaign. Yeah, and you know, just kind of brought it back to the forefront for people to think about as well because there's so many people that have now they've grown up and they they may have even learned that they've got some form of genetic condition and they didn't really think that they didn't necessarily know or think about it yeah. beforehand and now they're like you know now that they're older you you kind of you realize you're not invincible not like when you're a child so you have more you know more to think about and um and you might find something that more aligns with you as well. Because like mm -hmm. there was this woman that I spoke to and, and she was just like, you know what? Um, I found I had a genetic condition. I didn't know any that I had it. And um, just like lis listen to me talk about my genetic condition, it kind of um, resonates with her, you know? So I feel like by having the people like, my, like myself and other people that are part of it and having a social media campaign around it as well, it will definitely educate others to um, the, to what you guys do and the, you know, how you help all the other smaller charities and how, you know, the funding and stuff like that and the important work that goes on behind the scenes. 
Yeah, it's just getting it out into the into the public narrative a bit more. Yeah. I think one in ten families are affected by a genetic condition, so it's it's not as, and there are really rare conditions, but it's you know collectively it's not it's not as rare as you think. It's it's no. quite interesting actually that it's quite yeah you know it is out there, but it's it just doesn't seem to be talked about as much. So yeah, it's brilliant to have people like you as as ambassadors for Genes for Genes, you know, to go out and talk about that and share things through your your content and your social media as well. So yeah, thank you very much. That is the end of your interrogation. Oh, if there's anything else you want to add, the platform is yours. <laughs> get behind Jeans for Jeans, donate, spread the word, get behind them. They're a fantastic charity doing fantastic things and we can always do more. That is Jeans a wonderful Jeans. thing to end on. Thank you so much and really appreciate your time. Thank you, Clara. Thank you. Bye.